Hi, my name is Maren and a year and a few months ago I made a video about coming out and identifying as asexual on this channel. Now everyone's asking, what is it about now? Are you still asexual? Are you still aromantic? What happened since then? <laughs> well, obviously quite a lot had happened because when I made this video I just started studying at university and now I'm in my third semester deciding on where I go on my semester abroad and stuff and stuff like that. Everything has changed. I'm in my own flat, I um, have changed perspectives about lives and stuff but I think that's what always happens. That it's, it's a constant thing that flows. <laughs> but hell yeah! Answering the question that everyone is interested about, I'm still asexual. Nothing changed. Way. <laughs> like in a way, it didn't really change. Like in 2015, when I made this video, um, I think like a month before I made this video, I only first heard about asexuality, and I only discovered that I was asexual. But I didn't change much about my life since then. Uh, I always like lived like. I don't care. I don't care what everyone else thinks and I'm only gonna do what I'm comfortable with. And I didn't put any thought in anything that I did. I just did what I wanted to do. And I think that was really healthy um, because I never questioned anything regarding sexuality until that year. And I never felt uncomfortable with anything. <laughs> um, so nothing really happened. I'm still the same with my friends, I'm still the same with people. I'm. It's just that you understand more. When I was wondering like, hmm, why was that? Why, 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 why is that? that? That doesn't really happen anymore. It's just like, mm, yeah, yeah, you're asexual, you don't understand. <laughs> Another big question that will come up in so many people's minds is, did you come out to anyone? Well, actually like, I came out on YouTube to everyone in the world who clicks on this video can see that I am asexual. But coming to people that I know in my life, I didn't come out to them. Not to my parents, not to my friends, maybe to my pets. <laughs> but, um, no. Like, I think I said it already in my um, coming out videos that with my friends, no one really had a coming out, even though friends of mine are, are bisexual or are um, gay and stuff like that. No one really had to say like, well anyways, I, I need to tell you something, I'm gay. They just came in like, well this is my boyfriend and now this is my girlfriend and um, no one questioned it, it's great. My friendship group um, is always been really supporting and um, never question anything, never want to pressure anyone into something. Um, it's great and now it's starting to rain outside. While it's raining and the lighting is horrible, don't you think that I look like some kind of android that just, like with this top, um, who would just come, hello, I'm Android 565. I'm here to care for your children, for your parents, I wanted to say, no, I'm here to care for your children. And then I'm gonna go evil and I'm gonna kill everyone, it's, it's because of this turtleneck, I don't know what it is, it's getting so dark outside! Ah! Living in North Germany guys, it's lunch time, 12 o'clock, and it looks like the sun is setting. As I said, most of my friends are incredibly accepting of everything. So there is actually no need of coming out because like, I'm not gonna bring in like, hey, they, I, did I tell you I'm asexual? This is my girlfriend or boyfriend. Whereas to my parents, it's a little bit difficult. I know that that would be accepting of anything, but the thing is my dad starts to talk about grandchildren at the moment. And I'm like, just, I wanted to come out to my mom and started writing a letter but I never finished it and I never gave it to her so mm, let's see how that goes maybe in some 
nice moment, but not yet. Didn't happen yet. Didn't bang out. So, and what is about your romantic orientation? Have you figured that out? Is it still like that? Huh? Uh, this is so hard, like about, I'm not sure if anyone really knows about their romantic <laughs> orientation because I question myself all the time, it's like the thing that bothers me about that topic the most. <laughs> I think I'm definitely still on the aromantic spectrum, but I doubt that I'm fully aromantic because, ah, uh, it's like so hard to think of. I thought that I, I'm just really picky when it comes to romantic attraction. I've got this one type, and probably this one type doesn't even really exist, I always thought. Um, but the truth for me always comes out when I'm drunk. And there was this one drunk night, <laughs> this night, this summer, when I and some friends got really really wasted and um, whenever I'm wasted I get really really honest this is the thing that alcohol does to me it makes me incredibly honest it makes me not second-guessing myself in my head but every idea that comes to my head I shout it out to people and I tell them the weirdest theories like <laughs> um, previously before I didn't know that I was asexual I would like go and say like I hate people I hate their misconception about a relationship I, I, I would just stand there and be like I hate people I'm and um, now that that's figured out, it's something else. When I was really, really wasted that night, I just kept on talking with my best friend about how much I love this one musician just because he's there. And then we talked about boyfriends and girlfriends and I was just talking about this stuff and then um, we were talking about relationships and then I was just like, oh well, I'm probably just really picky. It's just so hard for me to find um, a boyfriend and um, then my friend just said oh well sure she would be really happy being um, in love with that that one band member and I was just like yeah that's true <laughs> and well yeah the fact that I was always talking about boyfriends talking about certain guys about a certain type of guy that I was would settle for just like told me there must be something, maybe I'm grey romantic, grey heteroromantic, but well, this this is like, why would you ever talk or label you with that? Because someone comes along you fall in love with, I would say I'm somewhere on the aromantic spectrum, but wouldn't say like completely aromantic, I'm gonna be solitary for the rest of my life, even though I'm quite a solitary person. Um, but I would love to find someone to run away with, like not settle down, run away with. Um, and that could be anyone, probably a boy. So yeah, this is my update on the asexual thing. <laughs> uh, I've been thinking about gender stuff as well, but well. Why think about gender stuff? This stuff on YouTube is just ridiculous. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Mm-hmm.